Hi guys! Since the arrival of Calvin, we've been very careful with germs, which means using a lot of hand sanitizer. We have to be giving you the baby now? Yes. So I thought it would be the perfect time to try out one of the homemade recipes I've seen floating around online. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own all-natural hand sanitizer. I'm Brooke, and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. Here's what you're going to need to get started. Aloe vera gel, witch hazel, tea tree oil, vitamin E oil, and an essential oil for scent. We're going to start by adding 8 ounces of our aloe vera gel, which is the base for our hand sanitizer. I love aloe vera gel because of its therapeutic properties and gentleness on the skin. Next up are our active ingredients. First, we're going to add 1 tablespoon of witch hazel, which is a great natural cleanser and not drying like alcohol. Next is a quarter to a half a teaspoon of our tea tree oil. Tea tree oil at a 0.5 to 1% concentration has been found to kill most types of bacteria. Our last two ingredients are optional, but I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of vitamin E oil for added moisture, and 10 drops of lavender essential oil for its scent and antibacterial properties. And our mixture is complete, let's give it a stir. Now our hand sanitizer is ready for action. I'm going to pour mine into these little one ounce squirt bottles, but you can use any pump or spray container. And ta-da! It's that easy. In just a few minutes, you have your own homemade all-natural hand sanitizer. These spray bottles are the perfect size for little hands. Okay. And on top of being chemical-free, it also feels and smells great on your skin. Another benefit to natural sanitizers is that they don't become bacteria resistant like many of the commercial ones. You can also add a couple drops of soap colorant to make this extra fun for the kids. All right guys, we're loving our new hand sanitizer. I hope you'll give it a try. Tell me in the comments below if you'd like to see more DIYs with essential oils and we'll see you next Friday. Bye guys. Bye guys.